Today's topic, avascular necrosis, also known as AVN. So avascular necrosis is not exclusive to sickle cell, um, but it is a, a very painful complication um, associated with the bones in your body. So avascular necrosis actually stands for, or actually uh, represents when a part of your bone dies due to lack of oxygen getting into it. So people don't actually, actually uh, think very often about the fact that your bones need oxygen as well. They're a living, breathing part of your body, and so um, even though they're the ones responsible for making the red blood cells, they also uh, require oxygen. So as those red blood cells are cycling around, they do come back and go through your bones to provide oxygen for them to keep doing what they need to be doing. So avascular necrosis um, is actually a chronic uh, complication that occurs after um, over a period of years when you have that sickling and that those blockages, those pain episodes in your bones repeatedly over a, a period of time, eventually that causes part of the bone to die. And so uh, let's think about this. So if I have if I have part of my bone die, then the parts that are sitting on top of it are pushing a little bit harder on an empty dead space here. And so eventually it will break. And so this is most commonly found in the hip. Um, in that hip joint and some of the first symptoms that people uh, talk about is uh, just some normal what they feel like is joint pain and also a little bit um, of a difficulty to walk on that side so starting to see like a little bit of a limp because avascular necrosis can um, start in childhood uh, it's most frequently found in teens. And so um, if you see your teen or if you are starting to feel like you have a limp or you're having some more joint pain on one side of your hips, getting it checked out through a bone scan is very important. The earlier avascular necrosis is caught, the less invasive of the treatments that they have to do. However, eventually within a uh, study show within about five years of reporting those first signs, many people do have to have a hip replacement. So, um, and there's also about a 50% chance that if you have avascular necrosis in one hip, at some point in your life, you will have it in the other. Avascular necrosis is much more common in people with uh, the sickle cell disease type SC, as they that C hemoglobin tends to cause more uh, joint damage and joint pain. So this is a short one, avascular necrosis is bone death. It can happen in any bones, including uh, the fingers and toes when we talked about that whole dactylitis episode of pain in there, but it is most common in uh, those longer bones, specifically your hip. Check us out on the web at hopeforscd.org. Post any comments or questions below. How has avascular necrosis affected your life? Is there anything you've been able to do to slow the rate or overcome it? And uh, sign up for our newsletter if you want to keep getting great clips like this or information from other people that we find on the web. Thanks.